What's going on YouTube? <clears throat> As you can see, I finally got the band box uh, for the month of June, no May, June, July, June, I don't even know, is this for June? Or is this for May? I forget. Um, yeah, I'm not too sure since uh, we got the last two months late. Um, yeah, I'm kind of lost as to which box this is. Um, I definitely do not recall the theme for the month, so... Yeah, let's just get this open. Um, this box is a little bit uh, heavier than normal. <clears throat> I know they're, they were supposed to add the missing item or extra item from... Uh, two months ago or a month ago for being late uh, with all with all the delays and everything like that um, but yeah I'm definitely excited to see what extra item they put in uh, again I forget what the theme is but uh, yeah we'll find out I got my exacto knife got this open put that aside I'm expecting some tissue paper yes oh so we got the new box design um, in the community had a um, contest for some of the folks that's part of the community uh, to design the uh, inside of the box and I think there was um, a drawing or like uh, there was uh, the top three and uh, people could have voted on it uh, but looks like yeah I'm not too sure oh it looks, that's pretty cool a mashup of uh, Mario and Mega Man I'm not too sure who these two characters are I'm not too sure who this rock star is but um yeah it's pretty nice I like it I got that. Ooh, it looks, something looks fancy. All right, let's try to keep this a little bit surprise for you guys. Uh, but yeah, we got that um, tissue paper. Put that aside. Yeah, so this item, the USCSS Nostromo, was a patch that was actually supposed to be a part of our uh, last month's box that was uh, missing uh, from a lot of people's boxes. So this was um, uh, one of an item from the last month's box which is a patch uh, that is from my uh, aliens uh, pretty cool patch I don't think I'm gonna actually put it on or maybe eventually I will but yeah it's a nice little patch I like it yeah that's cool all right so let's grab the pin first to figure out what the theme is and for the month uh, so here's BAM's uh, custom hat pins and so yes, yeah, so this is for the month of June. Uh, the theme is heroes, heroes and villains, unlikely heroes. And um, this is a pin of so this is a pin of I believe uh, Shaun of the Dead. Pretty nice. And on the back it says limited release to three thousand pins. So yeah, so these are. Um, they're, not, they're not numbered or anything, I don't think, uh, but yeah, they're definitely limited uh, as to the release and to this pin spe specifically. Um, it says something on the back, I can't really see. It says your something, Sean. But yeah, let me show you the back. Yeah, I'm too lazy uh, to open this up um, to see what that says, but yeah. So that's that. Cool. Yeah, so this is June. Heroes and Villains. Unlikely Heroes. Ah, oh, looks like we got another patch over here. It looks like it's a mashup of <laughs> Superman and Goonies. Uh, I forget what that character's uh, in Goonie uh, name is. Um, yeah, I can't think of it right now, but look, this looks like a mashup. Of the Goonies of Superman. Uh, yeah, pretty interesting patch. Kind of reminds me of Mickey Mouse a little bit from far away with uh, with the color, with the colors. Um, but yeah, so uh, we got two patches, two months in a row. I guess that's cool. <laughs> what actually caught my eyes uh, when I first actually opened this was the color of this. <laughs> and it's a Nacho Libre mask. That's hilarious. <laughs> That's funny. So, so yeah, this looks like the Nacho Libre mask from, uh, I believe, the movie. Nacho Libre with uh, Jack Black. 
Um, yeah, let's put this on. So I'll see how this looks. Don't mind the hair. Oh man, I feel like this fits perfectly. I I do want to train in wrestling. Uh, maybe this is a sign that's telling me that yeah, you should start training for wrestling. But yeah, how are guys? Uh, stupid, awesome. You scared? Do some moves. But yeah, I'm not gonna keep this on. It's uh, it's definitely trapping some heat, and it's uh, kind of a warm day. But yeah. <laughs> this is a pretty cool item. Um, I mean, yeah, you can't do much with it, but maybe uh, for Halloween it could be useful. But yeah, interesting little mask. Um, yeah, I think this was uh, they uh, pro were promoting uh, Nacho Libre. Um, so yeah, that's a cool little item. Classic baggy. Ooh, next thing we got here is a Batman ruled journal with pocket, 192 pages, archival paper, archive paper, archival paper, um, yeah, so this looks like a nice little journal notebook, um, with the Batman logo on it, can you see that, yeah, and, um, there's, uh, definitely some designs on it, there's some kind of a texture, on the notebook itself or the journal um i'm not gonna open it right now but yeah i could definitely use a new journal uh have like you know not like batman but in just journals it's not for like journal entries or diary entries or anything i just kind of keep notes and ideas in it um every time i have an idea when i'm just sitting there i kind of just jot it down and maybe look back at it at a later time or if i have some kind of innovative I don't know, product or application i want to build or have an idea or something or business side i kind of jot it down uh, but yeah, eventually uh, one of those things will click and work right. But uh, anyways, yeah, I could definitely use a, a new notebook and it's a nice one. Um, I believe this from this notebook is designed by Insights. So if you like this, whoa, that's just show the value on the price of this notebook. But um, this is by Insight Editions and you can go to their website at insighteditions.com. Um, but there's a price on this on the label it's uh, $18.95 so this notebook or journal cost me $18.95 I'm not sure if I'm getting in that into frame but yeah that's a, this is a nice little journal I could definitely use alright oh so this says on the back an extra item Ah, so it's an extra item, <laughs> and it's a print of E.T. That's a nice little print. Um, Elliot, Elliot. <laughs> it was a great movie. Um, I like to say the movie came out the year I was born. So yeah, that was definitely a long time ago. Maybe a year or two before I was born, but... This definitely was way before my time in a sense, but I eventually did uh, watch it, watch this movie as a child, and yes, yeah, definitely a great movie. Uh, right now we're going to, what is it, Universal Studios in um, Orlando, Florida, and definitely, yeah, took the ride and did all that uh, back in the 80s. So yeah, so this was the extra item, I believe, for all the craziness that was happening, um, nothing too crazy i mean it's not signed or anything i don't think so there's no uh cod uh certificate no coa certificate of authentication but it's still a nice little print oh oh yeah so i guess they, i believe they're doing the one-up cards again it looks like yeah i got a one-up card bitches so okay one-up congratulations you got a one-up card you have an upgraded or limited edition item in your box it's agree. I'm not too sure <clears throat> uh, the different colors of one-up cards you can get. I know in the past they did different colors like red, blue, yellow, green. And depending on the color of uh, the one-up card you got, um, the upgrade of the item would have, um, would have yeah, been, I guess, I can't even find the word, like more of a legend of what kind of item or extra item you got as a bonus or upgrade. 
So I'm not too sure what that's going to be, but yeah, let's keep this here. Um, so it looks like in this box we got two more prints. But yeah, let's just grab the first one. Uh, the band box certificate of authenticity. This band box fan art collection art print Chuck and Sloth has been hand signed by artist Tim Odland and is guaranteed to be authentic. <laughs> that's cool. So that's Sloth, yeah. I think that's Sloth, yeah. That's the name of uh, this guy down here with the patch, Sloth. And this is Chunks. A nice little art print by Tim Odland. Oddland? Tim Oddland. Yeah. Uh, as Chucks. Chunks. What is he holding? A baby Ruth. Uh, signed down here at the bottom. And this is number 227 out of 500. Uh, so this could be a, the one up upgrade. Um, since it's limited to only 500. Yeah, that's a low number. Um, but yeah, that's a cool little art print. And the last thing we got here is this custom 8x10 photo has been hand signed by Austin St. John, who was original Power Ranger. It was signed during a private signing with a band box. That's crazy. Ooh, fancy. <laughs> That's pretty cool. One of the better autographs in a while, I think. Um, maybe because I... Did grow up watching the Power Rangers, the, the original one, I guess, the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Yeah, signed by Austin St. John. And uh, um, the Certificate of Authenticity has a little thumbnail of his uh, headshot. That's pretty cool. I'm going to say I must have like this. Not too sure if I'm getting <clears throat> everything in a frame, but this is a lot of items compared to the past few boxes uh, from the band box. So yeah, this is definitely pretty awesome and uh, a lot to go through. Um, and the last thing we got here is the spoiler booklet. Um, ah, so here's more of an inside the box of the new design. Uh, looks like we got the DeLorean over here. Pretty cool. Looks like we got um, a mashup of looks like Bob's Burger and um, Thundercats. Uh, I don't know the names uh, directly. Uh, got some... Transformers and some Futurama things going on down here. Yeah, it's a nice little, it's a nice new design. Uh, it's fresh. Um, I mean, if that's the case, they could probably constantly change it up, like, I don't know, once a year or something, just to have uh, maybe some of their, uh, uh, you know, some of the folks that's part of the community would like to design a new box. Yeah, you could constantly change it, I guess. Yeah, so yeah, that was it. This over here. Whoa. Sorry about that. Um, so yeah, Heroes and Villains, Unlikely Heroes. Uh, theme for June. So there's a giveaway, a Hughes Jackman signed photo. When this Hugh Jackman signed 11 by 14 Wolverine photo, Beckett, COA, to enter, post a picture of you wearing your natural leaving mask and post it to Instagram or Facebook or Twitter using, using the hashtag WinBandBox. We will randomly select a winner Monday, July 10th. So yeah, if you want to put on your natural Libra hat and share it with a social, uh, on social media platforms, then you can enter your chance to win this signed Hughes Jackman photo of Wolverine. That's a pretty cool autograph to get. I might have to do that. All right, so the first item we got here is the Sean Fan Art collection collection pins from artist Nick Kokoza. Ah, Nick Kokoza has been part of this. Um, the, he he has been doing uh, yeah definitely a few things for the band box. And yeah, this is Shaun of the Dead fan art. You gotta got the limited edition only out of thousand or the limited edition only out of two fifty. Ah, so it looks like there are three variants. Interesting. So inspired by one of the greatest horror comedy movies, Shaun of the Dead, these Sean pins show the new pin format for Bandbox. New pin format. You have the chance to get one of three different pins, each with a specific release number adding to their rarity. Sean will have a release of 3,000, the blood variant will have a release of 1,000, and the zombie variant is the most limited with only 250 made. This is seen by the green cover. What? All release numbers are on the back of the pin card. What? This is seen by the green cover? I don't even get that. 
I don't understand that, but yeah. Um, looks like there's three variants you kind of got. You got the regular one, which I got. You could have got a blood splattered one, which is um, numbered out of 1,000. Or you got the zombified version of Shaun of the Dead, which is limited to only 250. Boo! And you get those. And then the next thing we got here is the Pirate Sloth. Ah, uh, Pirate Sloth. <laughs> Fan art collection patch from artist Trado Destroy. Uh, another uh, artist who has uh, been um, helping the band box. Hey, you guys. From one of the most beloved movie franchise comes one of the most unlikely heroes. Swinging in to save Mouth and Steph on one eye Willie ship here we celebrate this unlikely hero represented in his Superman shirt and pirate hat cool cool uh, next thing we got here is the sloth loves chunk fan art collection print by artist Tim Oddland the bromance between Sloth and Chunk in the Goonies is one of the best of all time. From Rocky Road ice cream to Baby Ruth candy bar to Superman shares, Chunk and Sloth ended up best friends. And when Sloth becomes a, and when Sloth becomes the unlikely hero, it solidifies his role in Goonies lore. All prints are signed and done by the artist. Look out for the limited pirate hat variant numbered out of five hundred. So, uh, so it looks like I got the Sloth loves Chunk variant edition, which is limited to only five hundred. Um, yeah, and it actually states that down at the bottom of the corner. Uh, the regular one is just, I believe, Sloth without the pirate hat. So the regular variant will have Sloth without the pirate hat. And I guess I believe that would uh, be the one up uh, card. So, yeah. All right. Well, the next thing we got here is the band box signing with Austin St. John, the original Red Power Ranger. This guy over here. Go, go, Power Rangers. For many of us, afternoons were signaled by the Pop Mighty Morphin Power Rangers coming on TV. We each identified in some way with one or more of these original characters. There have been multiple spinoffs and movies since then, but there is something about the original crew. Bandbox was excited to be able to present fans with a signed photo of the original Red Ranger, Austin St. John. Yeah, that is pretty cool. So yeah, there was no variance or uh, for, for 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 this uh, autograph, so everybody would have got the same one. Uh, next thing we got here is the prop replica Nacho Libre mask. So yeah, I didn't show you the back earlier, so there in the back you actually tie it up. I know the wrestlers got, I know the wrestlers get all the fancy ladies and the clothes and the fancy cream and lotions, but my life is good, really good. I get to wake up every morning at 5 a.m. and make some soup. It's the best. I love it. I get to lay in a bed all by myself, all my life, all of my life, all of my life. That's fantastic. Now you get to get all the fancy ladies' clothes, creams, and lotions with this prop replica, adult size lycra mask. Oh, so they have a specific name for this mask, lycra mask. Cool, cool, cool. Next thing we got here is the Batman hardcover ruled journal with Batman notes. Ah, interesting. Batman notes. So, embroiled in a potentially deadly mission, Batman drops a journal in which he has been jotting down notes on the case. That's where you come in. This ruled journal contains several pages of notes and sketches created by Batman before giving away, before giving way to blank ruled pages on which you can jot your own notes. Ah, that's cool. So I guess inside the journal, I guess there's some pages with uh, some of uh, Batman's own personal notes. Uh, that in all certain cases, I guess. It looks like uh, we got Two-Face here, Harvey Dent on uh, one of the pages. Uh, that's pretty cool. And I guess uh, next month's box, uh, the theme is Animal Influence. July's theme is going to be incredible. It will be Heroes and Villains, Animal Influence. Ah, so they're sticking with, uh, what is it, theme, sub-theme kind of kind of thing, kind of deal. Whether immune with animal-like abilities, a different species altogether, inspired by an animal or infected by one, we will explore multiple pop culture universes in this box. It will feature a very special celebrity autograph, a screen accurate prop replica, and more. Some were born, some were born it, some were chosen, some were shaped by it, and others were affected. Meet them all in the July BAM box. 
So yeah, Animal Influence next month. Yeah, so that was uh, this month or June's uh, month for Bandbox, Heroes and Villains, Unlikely Heroes. Um, yeah, so say we took this extra item away and this patch from last month, we got one, two, three, four, five, six items this month, which is not bad compared to the prior months, uh, the prior months, um, which were really underwhelming, but surprisingly, this month was, uh, I thought was pretty good. Um, I don't necessarily like all the items in there, but I think, um, the items itself and, um, yeah, the, I don't know, the Batman, the Goonies, I guess, yeah, some good movies or titles um, that are being showcased, um, but yeah, I'm glad I got these two extra things or, you know, the missing item and this one extra uh, print item, I mean, this probably can't be worth much because anybody could have printed this, right? Uh, but it's cool, yeah, it definitely looks like a lot of items uh, with these two items. Looks like a lot for this month, but yeah. I liked it. It's not bad. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Um, so yeah, that's it for this month. I hope you guys like that and enjoyed the video. If you guys do, please subscribe. Uh, do all that. Tell your friends, tell your folks. Um, yeah, do all that thing. And yeah, let me know what you guys thought in the comments below. Uh, what you guys thought about the items. Uh, if you like an item more than another, yeah. Please uh, feel free to share that with me. Uh, I guess until next time, check the latest.